Hi guys, back with another video for you today. I'm here at Lucky Scent, Scent Bar, downtown LA, DTLA. It's a DT. brand new store. To how old is this store now? A uh, little over a year. So we opened uh, November of 2018. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, this is Dana. She Hi. works here. If you ever come here, you can speak to her. She knows a lot about the fragrances here. I don't live here, but I'll be here a lot. <laughs> <laughs> today I'm going to tell you my top five discoveries from the store here. So if you want to find out these new fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time tuning into my channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So thanks so much for doing this video with me. Yeah, thank you for being here. Do you, are you into perfume? Is that why you work here? Or? Yes, I have always loved perfume. Yeah. It's been a passion of mine since I was a little girl wearing Petite Cherie ah. by Annie Coutal. Oh yeah, I know <laughs> Yeah, I used to wear that. And uh, Jessica McClintock's Gardenia oh, wow. and Cool Water. Okay, total Long variety there. <laughs> yeah. so, so what are some of your fragrances here? Uh, these ones that we're showing today or oh, uh, just, just in general, general. Oh, well we carry niche brands from all over the world um, we have some bigger brands that you see at other stores like Tom Ford and Byredo but a lot of these uh, companies you can't find in most places so we're sort of exclusive that way oh it's cool fun. yeah um, really the idea is you come in and you we uh, categorize everything by notes and themes so as opposed to worrying what the brand is or trying to you know, find a, a brand because you were told you're supposed to like it. Mm -hmm. Come in and if you like patchouli or if you like greens or um, fresh and clean or whatever kind of, you know, inspires you and you can just sort of start there and then see what you're gravitating toward and then um, we help you find, you know, something that you love. And you guys are very generous with samples as well. We like to give samples. Um, I think it's a good idea to wear something on your skin first before you commit to that $300 bottle of whatever. So test make sure you, you love buy. it. Test yeah. before you buy. And that's why we also have all these testers out so you can spray them on and wear them out and see what you think. Cool. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the neighborhood here as well because it seems very unique. There's some great restaurants. Tartine Bakery is here yeah. as well. Tartine just opened up. Um, so we're in the Arts District of downtown Los Angeles. So it's this cool little section that's um, kind of thriving right now um, really has made a big change in the last couple of years and there's amazing restaurants and bars and coffee shops and lots of boutiques and cool stores and then we're in this sort of industrial complex outdoor mall kind mm. of thing it's called the row DTLA and um, we are here so you can park in the in the um, a complex here and come on in and uh, we're next to some amazing restaurants and yeah, Tartine just moved in from San Francisco. Um, Yay! Very popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Doing very well. Everyone cool. seems really yeah. happy with it's it. It's very so. popular. I've yeah. been there twice already. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about the scents that I really fell yeah. in love with. So we have a new brand that's, uh, I'm having a challenging time saying the name. <sighs> We're going to, that's so hard. <laughs> Les, Les Indominables. Yes. Les Indominables. So <laughs> exactly. I, I fell in love with two fragrances. Uh, so this one is... Sheep Azural. And this one is... Uh, Rose de Jamont. So these are the two fragrances. They have amazing looking uh, design yeah, work on them. Beautiful. So the, the, the citrus one, the yeah. amazing. You sprayed that on I have sprayed it on here. Smell? It's projecting still and oh, it smells like gorgeous. beautiful blood oranges or yes, something. Yes, blood orange, yep. Yeah. And, but a little creaminess, there's something kind of soft and... Yeah, it's, a, it's called cheaper, but it's not really... It's, a, it doesn't smell super... It's more citrus, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. It's delicious actually. Yeah. And the humidity here is actually really working well with this one. Yes. And the rose is really nice as I well. I love that. Yeah. I sprayed that too. Yeah, right. I did spray it. <laughs> I love both of these. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, so these are uh, debuting, or they've de debuted by now, they debuted by now um, on the website, so you can check them out. It's mm -hmm. a great brand they have. I've smelled four of the fragrances mm -hmm. here. and I'm just learning them as well. Like yeah. we're, We just got them in, so I'm kind of going through and discovering them. We have to wear them all and see what I think. You do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But these are great. A new... Perks of the job. <laughs> perks of the job, yes. New, uh, Pari uh, not Parisian, but a French house from the south of France, I mm -hmm. think. Yes. So we have another brand here. What's this brand called? Uh, Moth and Rabbit. Moth um, and Rabbit. They're named after... Uh, kind of cult films. Um, a few of them I have not heard of. Uh, this one is La Haine. Um, which this is, is a film I've a seen. French film. A French mm -hmm. film, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this one is 
I would say it seems to be doing the best. I mean, it seems very popular. It's like a smoky, vetiver, kind of inky, dark. It's dark, um, yeah. It's dark. It's, it's dark beautiful. like the film it's inspired like from. The, exactly, yeah. yes. Um, how, uh, how long have this been <clears throat> around uh, at Lucky Scent? We've been carrying them about six months. Okay. Um, there's ten, uh, ten different, fragrances. different fragrances in the line. I really love the, the design work on the bottles. Yeah. The name of the fragrance is kind of carved out in the black, so yeah. it's really unique. And then there's like some kind of artsy, interesting poem type of thing on the back that is almost impossible to read, but you can in certain angles. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Really nice. Really clever. And where where's the company from? Um, I believe they are from... Is it Berlin? The, yes, Berlin. Okay. I would say Germany or some... Yeah. Berlin. Somewhere. Okay, so this yeah. is a southern French brand, mm -hmm. a German brand, and then we have a Japanese, Japanese brand. Japanese line. Yeah. This is called J Scent, and yeah. this is a fragrance called Sumo Wrestler. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it's this meant to be. It's meant to be the the uh, hair oil that sumo wrestlers use. Um, I, I love this one. And it's you know, and then it also combined with eucalyptus, I think, mm. is in there. Um, I want to say vetiver again, maybe. Uh, it's got some kind of aromatic or. Yeah, it has like a like a maybe barbershop yeah. like barbershop like uh, quality, but a little like Japanese fougere, like a, a new take on that. Not new take. Yeah. They're really cool really because you guys have maybe the whole collection in this store. I yes. only smelled two of the fragrances from this line. Everything that I smelled from this line was amazing. It's special, I know. And 50 ml bottles for $80, that's a I mean, great price point. Yeah. Especially coming from a, a very expensive country like that's right. Japan. So. And they're all different too. I mean, each one has their own profile, so it's not like everything is going to be a fougere. Oh no, like no, 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 yeah, totally. Um, kind of sweet, slightly gourmandy ones. There's um, like really beautiful citruses and florals and all kinds. There's a tea one too. Uh, the roasted green tea is pretty, pretty awesome. Cool. <laughs> so we have another brand here, yeah. the fragrance that I fell in love with called Purple Haze. Amazing, so amazing. It. it smells like a dark green, damp, yeah, earthy dank. forest. Forest, yeah, it's it's patchouli. Um, purple haze alludes to the cannabis accord that's in there, so it is supposed to have a little bit of that. I don't get a ton of it. I mm. feel like we have a few others that have more of that profile, but um, yeah, to me, it's like this like dank, deep, beautiful um, kind of green forest scent. Does it remind you of a bar barbershop scent as it, well? Yes, exactly. It ha I was going to say it has this um, sort of interesting sort of masculine fougere sort of thing that comes through as you wear it so as it dries down it turns a little bit more into to that barbershop style not full on not but full on yeah a little it's very green very green yeah yeah uh, this brand is called 1969 mm -hmm. and where are they from they're from Sweden okay. um, and there are about eight that we care or eight in the line that we carry and I think there's another one coming out soon. what was the green one called I can't remember I smelled it yesterday. chronic chronic yeah that's another cannabis is it cannabis I don't I don't one. Find the cannabis is strong, and this I one is either. the other one. That's right. Yeah. So they, I mean, that one has sold well as well. People oh. really like the chronic, but okay. um, I like maybe because of Dr. Dre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, uh, a fragrance that I sampled in Paris uh, last mm -hmm. May, and I thought, okay, nothing about it. I didn't really like it, and I came here. I went right to it and I sprayed it on, and, and it I think the beautiful. weather here kind of made it come alive on me. Yeah, and I've only smelled it here. Oh, but, really? I mean, it is really special. This the whole line is unique. Smoke from Acro. Mm -hmm. Great line, actually. I'm really yeah. impressed with this line. Yeah. How is it? Uh, you wear the chocolate one, too? I have the dark and I yeah. have the um, awake. Awake. Oh, yeah. yeah the, uh, the most beautiful coffee. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. And now smoke. Is and that smoke. making it? It's kind of, I don't know, sexy, dark. Well, it's not really smoking. It's, it's, it was very green on me. Green on you, yeah. yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the notes. We actually have a, a co-worker of mine that wears it. Oh, shall we call him? Could, could we have him? Yeah, sure. come on in. <laughs> All right. What's your name? Hi, Ezra. Ezra, hi. Yeah. So what do you, do you like smoke as well? Yeah, absolutely. I think that there's nothing reinterpreted about this. It goes back to the sort of nostalgic feel of what smoke is. Um, it's a little bit of campfires, a little bit of like an old cigar lounge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of has the the addiction of nicotine that you kind of <laughs> want to keep smelling it yeah and the dry down just feels natural okay yeah yeah it's a great it's scent it's a great line actually yeah I'm all of them impressed. kind of kind of play with uh, this sort of uh, sensory uh, like experience that you yeah. have with with like food or, or the sort of natural elements that mm -hmm. that um, I think it does really well yeah and the, and the line is all about addictions yes yeah yes. each one is a an addiction so yeah there's... something else Coffee addiction, uh, sex addiction, <laughs> cigarettes or smoking addiction, uh, chocolate, addiction. chocolate addiction, chocolate addiction as well. <laughs> Do they have whiskey as well? 
I don't. Yes, they do. Oh. It's called malt. malt. Oh, there you go. Malt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They do the names like are that. a little bit misleading because they, they have like a theme to it. Yeah, yeah. they do. Cool. And complexity for sure. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, so this is smoked by Acro. Yeah. And that's my number one discovery here. Thanks so much for watching this video and discovering my latest discoveries or <laughs> top five discoveries at Lucky Scent Scent Bar in downtown LA. Uh, if you're here, stop by and speak to the uh, associates here. Uh, otherwise, you can also go to their website, luckyscent.com, and buy fragrances and get free samples as well. Yeah. Other than that, um, thank you for watching. Yeah, yeah. thanks for listening. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks.